It's chameleon satin. You say this is just below, UK above, had a, oh, oh. above Leicester. It's more central, where, like Charmwood area, like central. If someone Leicester. was coming from like America, where would you describe this as? Oh, uh, so this morning I got up early and got on the train from Newcastle, and I came down to Giant UK HQ, um, which is in the slap bang in the middle of the of England, um, in near Nottingham uh, in Leicester, and I've come down to pick up a new bike for a race that I'm doing next year. Um, in February, I'm going to be doing the Atlas Mountain Race and I'm going to be using the Anthem Advance Pro here um, for next year and yeah, excited to find out more about it and Dave's going to come in a bit and tell me more about the specs of the, of the bike and yes, it's going to be a fun bike to ride next year. This is Dave, he's built all my bikes that I've had from Giant um, which is very kind of him, he's a, he's a great bike builder. Uh, this is the, the bike that I'm going to be using next year. So this is the 2022 model uh, Anthem Advance Pro 2901. Uh, so a brand new bike that we launched uh, a few months ago as an out and out XC race bike. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so there's nothing trail about this. This is purpose built yeah. for XC racing. Super light, super stiff in the drivetrain, incredibly efficient from a suspension point of view. Mm -hmm. Suspension wise, it's 110 mil on the fork. It's 100 millimeters on the back end. So it's got slightly more travel than we had on the previous generation Anthem and it's using a brand new suspension system called FlexPoint Pro. Mm -hmm. We've used FlexPoint on bikes like the Stance and the Emboldened previously which are short travel trail bikes but this is the Pro level and it's the first time we've ever done the FlexPoint in carbon. So yeah. and the big thing here is it's effectively a single pivot design but rather than having a pivot here or here we're relying on flex through the between the seat stay and the chain stay to give us to give us the movement that that pivot would give us. Mm -hmm. Saves weight, uh, keeps it nice and stiff as well. Uh, so yeah, works phenomenally well. And this particular model is, is fitted with the Fox Live Valve uh, mm -hmm. suspension system. Basically, it's like somebody is changing the compression settings on your fork and shock mm -hmm. like this, Con yeah. constantly pretty much. Basically, there's a sensor on the back of the fork bridge. There's a sensor on the rear dropout. And those two sensors measure the bump force that's either coming through the, uh, through the front wheel or through the rear wheel, connected to this box of tricks here, which measures the size of the bump, which then tells the shock uh, and the fork what to do from a compression damping point of view, and it can change it in, in 0.19 of a second. So I don't have to worry about turning the suspension on and off? You just, you just switch it on, yeah. you switch it on electronically, you've got five different settings depending on how, how, you know, how racy you want it mm -hmm. to be. Just pick whichever setting you want and then you just ride. So all you've got to do is concentrate on riding rather than worrying about yeah. anything else that's going on. And the only thing I was worried about was possibly running out of battery on the ultra races I'm, I'm doing. If you do run out of battery, the suspension is open. Yeah. It's an incredibly efficient suspension system. So you might get slightly more movement through the back end than mm -hmm. you ideally want until you can uh, get, the, get the box recharged and the, fork, and the forks fully open. Yeah. But as long as you've got the suspension set up right from a, from a rebound point of view and an air pressure point yeah. of view, you know, it's, it's, it's not like it switches off and, everyth and everything yeah, is locked up. Yeah, it's still up. a usable bike. Yeah, yeah, ab absolutely. Hopefully, you will be able to get it charged up every, yeah. you know, be before you hit that. Yeah, I don't want to be riding for 20 hours straight yeah. for too often. No, nobody wants to do that. But frame-wise, uh, full carbon, um, so the front triangle is manufactured as one complete piece mm -hmm. and then the swing arm is, is, is um, uh, manufactured as a complete piece as well. Yeah. Um, so all the moving parts in the suspension on seal cartridge bearings, uh, yeah, it just works incredibly well. And it's green. It's chameleon satin is the colour, so it's green now, you get yeah. it in the sunlight, you get from a certain angle. You'll actually see a bit of gold in there as well. Yeah. Uh, so it's one of the chameleon colours that we use. So it, it does kind of change depending on yeah. the angle and the light that you're in. Amazing. Thanks for building it up. No worries.
I've just left Giant UK and uh, I'm heading to Nottingham, which is about 20 miles north of where I am now. And I'm going to be staying with my sister tonight, who's studying medicine there. And then I have this bag on my back uh, until I get to Leeds. So I'm paying Reese Trap a visit uh, to get kitted out and have some bags for uh, Atlas Mountain Race. So I left Nottingham this morning and I'm now cycling along the Pennine Bridleway which should take me off-road all the way to Yorkshire uh, which will be nice but then I'm going to take a bit of a detour and head off uh, towards Leeds Well there's no problem, if you had a gun shoot him in the head I've now left the Pennine Bridleway after staying in Glossop last night. I'm now heading up Hull Moss because I'm heading towards Leeds where I'm gonna go to the restrap factory and uh, pick up some bags for my bike so that I get this off my back and that'll be much nicer. And then I think I'm gonna push on to Newcastle in one go. It's about 110 miles from Leeds so it'll be a big effort and I'll probably have a ETA about midnight, if not a bit longer because I'm on a mountain bike. But yeah, so far a beautiful day and I've got a nice little westerly to Leeds. Welcome to Restrap, this is the staff room. Um, so this is a bit of the history that we've put across the walls of um, some bits and bobs that we've done over the years. So, um, where do we start now? I don't think it's arranged chronologically, but we started off doing uh, pedal straps for the fixed gear scene, probably back in about 2010. Um, and the pedal straps that we made were from recycled seat belt webbing, and that's why the brand's called Restrap, it's recycled straps. Um, and then from there it kind of expanded into bike packing gear and that sort of led to where we are today essentially. So we've got a few smatterings of stuff across the walls here of some of the trips that we've been on over the years. Uh, some odd products, photo shoots, some stuff for Sven Cycles here as well. A few um, what is the Japan trip? The Japan trip, this is the Japan trip. That's me. That's you. That's me. Um, and that's our old workshop as well. And this is Scotland, uh, North Coast 500. And is that the workshop that's the size of this room? That one there? No, that's the one after it. That's the one that was just before where we're at now. So, in fact, that's the one. 
that's the first workshop that we're in. That's the entire space there. So you can see how much things have grown over yeah. the years. Big growth. Yeah, big, big growth. Well, yeah. Well, uh, should we take you through to the cutting room and yeah. show you around? Cool. Sweet. happens. Um, if you buy a Restrap product you'll see that it's actually signed by all of these guys. Well not all of them but uh, the one who made the bag. Um, we make everything by hand ourselves and what allows us to do that is by sort of doing everything in-house and that gives us a bit more control in the products that we make. Making sure that like they hit the quality standards, um, the way that they're made which is kind of very specific to how we make, them, how we make bags. So yeah. Uh, it's all made here in these four walls. Yeah. The stem bags, pretty good little feedbacks to be fair. So like we design these with a single handed closure on them. So this, um, this fit in here, we actually laser cut that ourselves just in the other room. So the way it kind of works, it's hard to demonstrate when it's off the bike. You yank up on it like that to close it. And then when it's on the bike and a bit more secure than in my hand, just in case of pulling that open like that and you can do that with one hand so you know like doing jaw strings and stuff when you're mm -hmm. riding with uh, you know, doing that with two hands is quite finicky but um, it takes a little bit of getting hang up but once you get used to it it's super super convenient intuitive and out of. And then you've got those pockets on the side and things as well loads of different adjustment points super handy little bag so the question now is should you put your stem bags on first or your bar bags and the answer is there's no right answer I've now left Restrap and it's great to have taken the weight off my back and just have a camelback now. But I'm heading towards Harrogate now and then it's about 100 miles back to Newcastle. So I think I'm going to do it and just do it all in one. But that means I'll have an ETA of about midnight. So it's going to be pretty much exposure lights the whole time. But I think I'm gonna try and get some food in Harrogate and then that'll fuel me the rest of the way. Christmas is coming the snowflakes will be falling It's the most wonderful time of year So hang up your stockings Put the tinsel on the tree Because Christmas is coming, my dear It's the only time of year the reindeer fly you can't see them on the sleigh ride across the sky. Gather all your family round, or go out and paint the town. It's the only time of year the whole wide world turns upside down. So baby, light a fire, and we'll toast the night away, because Christmas is coming up. Oh. Made it back to Newcastle. Uh, pretty big day, probably about 130 miles. Uh, it's just past 12, so pretty spot on with my ETA. Ready for bed. Yeah. 